go, go. something hilarious. Well, okay. It's actually, it's actually bad. It was a bad situation. <laughs> and uh, it's important to condemn these things, right? Like, it shouldn't happen. But... <laughs> Hold on, okay. Let me get my... Let me get gain composure or else I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. It involved a man and a woman in a public situation that the guy did something to the lady and he should be in jail and it should never happen. He's a bad guy. Let me get that out of the way. This happened in the States and uh, this woman was in Whole Foods, I think, like in Atlanta. And hey, this guy, he, he came on this woman's back. He busted another her back. Like she was just picking up, like she's in the produce aisle. She's in some aisle. And he, she said she saw him walking, you know, with a basket. Stuff, he looked normal. And then, like, you know, she, 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 she was okay, there's a guy shopping. And then she was just shopping and then next thing she feels something she turns around and sees this guy looking at her and then he runs away and she chases him and he gets away in a black key I think they caught him and you know it's sad like oh my no, you guys know that it shouldn't happen and all that sort of stuff you should condemn it and yeah you should condemn it Come on, like <laughs> why? How does someone do that? I can't even I think about it. The pressure. How do you bust that quick? Look, it's either she has terrible situational awareness. So she's just I can't imagine that happening to me. I think I would have noticed that this guy is beating his meat. You can just tell when the guy's beating his meat, right? It's either she has terrible situational awareness or he has unbelievable timing. Like, he can just do it on command. Because he was walking up to her and she didn't notice anything suspicious. And then he came right up behind her and just busted a nut on her back. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. There's no way he just whipped it out and did two strokes and then... It's impossible. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. I don't know. So it's one of the two. Either this guy has like, he's got this superpower. He can just bust on command. Or... She has the worst situational awareness ever. She's just so bad at just being aware of her surroundings. I don't know, dude. It's one of the, it's one of one or the other. That's a wild story. She chased. <laughs> Imagine she. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not funny. I'm not laughing at her. I'm laughing at the situation. <laughs> Imagine chasing this guy down, chasing this guy in a store with cum on your back. <laughs> you just chasing him. You have cum on your back. Oh man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's, there's some sickos, bro. There's some sick people on this planet. How do you do something like that? This is like, it's not even like a homeless guy. This is a guy with a car. Like He looked normal enough to her for her to not be too worried about him.
how are people just walking around like people you might think are normal but are actually like fucking tap bro they're actually crazy that's horrifying but yeah Please don't get mad at me. People are gonna yell at me now for, for, for laughing. I wasn't laughing at her. I was laughing at the situation. People are gonna be like, you're a terrible person. But no, guys. I, was, I feel bad for her, and he should be in jail. But come on, you have to admit that. That's kind of crazy. Watch the news. <laughs> the news clip is bonkers. Bro. When she's describing it, she just like, "Is this real? Did this actually happen?" The way she describes it, bro, I'm just like, "This is outrageous." This is what they should. The police officer should have come. Oh, you're not allowed. Oh, like this, and she made a point that this guy's probably done something like this in the past because it's actually a busting on women's backs <laughs> in public, in broad daylight, dude. Broad, broad daylight, like the sun is out in Whole Foods. This is a supermarket for busting on women's backs, bro. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way this is your first time doing this. How do you do that, like, without... You could not pay me, like... Nah. I'd be too nervous. I wouldn't even be able to get it up. How do you get hard in that situation? Bro, some people are just... Tap, bro. We take for granted... How... <laughs> How, like, not everyone thinks the same as you. We take for granted having morals, thinking like a normal person, having certain lines you're not willing to cross. Some people, bro, do not think that way at all, like, at all, at all. Jeez. It's actually kind of nuts. Oh. I, I did not mean to use the word nuts. Anyway, I got a poetry book, guys. I don't, uh, this transition is terrible, but yeah, I got a poetry book that I'd like you to purchase. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you did. It's $1. It's one dollar. This smells good. I got this in 2021. It still smells great. But it's finished though. There's like droplets left. Uh, anyway. This is actually a woman's fragrance. This is actually a woman's fragrance, but I was like, eh, screw it. I bought it. <laughs> I've got a poetry book mm. and I really appreciate anyone who checks it out. Let me read one of the poems to you. That's the thing I'm doing. That's the thing I'm doing. I need to remember not to, not to scratch my phone case while I'm talking because I was doing that yesterday. In yesterday's video and I was watching the video and I'm like, I can't hear anything. Mm. 
Isn't it the best thing when people can cancel plans? I was supposed to go to something this past Saturday. And I didn't want to go. You know, I don't want to go. And I was like, Phew. And then, well, actually, yeah. So I, I messaged her the previous night. I was like, wait, are we still doing that thing? Yada, yada, yada. And then she was like, no, da, 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 da. This lady had um, invited me to something, painting flower pots or whatnot. I didn't want to go to that thing. I was like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And then, and I was so I was, I was upset because I'd already agreed to do that. But then, <laughs> once I agreed to do that, some someone else had been like, "Oh, we're meeting up at this at this restaurant," and yada yada yada. We made reservations. Who's coming? And I was like, I was like, "Fuck, I can't come because I've got this other engagement." I was like, "No, I can't come." But luckily, we they were scheduled. Um, so yeah, I can still go to that thing at a, uh, at a later date. Yeah, I was upset, dude. But yeah, she cancelled that whole thing. It's the best feeling when someone cancels plans so she don't want to go to. Man, if I had kept quiet and didn't control with her, she probably would have told me that morning that, oh, by the way, it's not happening. I'm like, bitch, why didn't you tell me beforehand if you... Once you realize that it's not happening, you should have told me. The moment you realize this is not happening. What if they're canceling plans and they're moving their day around to accommodate you and you're actually being quiet? I hate when people don't respect people's time. It, it makes me very angry. Because time, you can never get time back. Time is precious, guys. Time is incredibly precious. This poem is called Hunger Kills Gently. Hunger Kills Gently. The poetry book is called uh, The Many Shades of Flowers. It's one dollar. The link is in the description. Yeah, Hunger Kills Gently. Let me, let me read it. <clears throat> Hope you know my silence. Doesn't mean I don't care. The night swallows your shadow. But you know it's still there. Pain in my heart. From the feelings I'm conceding. Wounds from being exposed will take longer in their healing. To give love back, to give love and get none back makes me feel empty. Rejection kills brutally. Hunger pains kill me gently. I'll watch you from afar as I whisper that you're pretty. In the safety of withdrawal as I dream about you with me. Hunger kills gently. That's the poem. Hunger kills gently. Hunger kills gently. Hunger kills gently. Hunger kills gently. That's like um, I, I'd, I'd read, I'd read some poem about uh, having feelings and not expressing your feelings because you know maybe you're afraid of the rejection or whatever the case may be. And you know we've uh, maybe we've all experienced that to some extent. I wanted to, to, to give my own version of that. So I wrote this and uh, we do it those long. To give love and get none back makes me feel empty. Rejection kills brutally. Hunger pains kill me gently. So what I was saying there is to give love back and get none back. To give love and get none back makes me feel empty. So it sucks when you're expressing your feelings to someone, your actions, and you're doing all these things for them. And they're just not reciprocating that. That makes you feel so empty and sad. So that's why I'm saying rejection kills brutally. So that's that is a form of rejection, and it it's brutal. It's it doesn't feel nice. So rejection kills brutally. Hunger pains kill me gently. So I'd say I'd rather die from hunger. So um, I don't show you my feelings. I I don't perform all these kind acts for you and all this sort of stuff and I keep what I'm feeling to myself and I deny myself and I suffer that pain. I'd rather suffer that. I, I say hunger pains kill me gently. So that that to me is a gentle form of, of suffering as opposed to just full-out rejection. So that's what I was trying to say there. 
I'll watch you from afar as I whisper that you're pretty in the safety of withdrawal not to dream about you. So just, you know, staying back and not and not not taking that risk. Um, it's a perspective. I don't know if I actually hold that perspective now. Uh, in the moment when you've been rejected, you're like, when you're still healing from maybe like previous rejections, you might kind of take that stance. Now it's like, or right now, you know, I'll, I'll approach you, but I don't care. Being rejected is never nice. It never feels good, especially like when you really, really like someone. It never feels good, but uh, you know, you have to take the risk. High risk, high reward. But yeah, uh, it is a perspective I've held in the past. Uh, but yeah, I'm not necessarily rejected. Uh, I'll take the risk. Let me put it that way. I'll take the risk. I'm willing to take the risk. Today's Monday, uh, Saturday. I watched Furiosa. Furiosa, good movie. I was hesitant. I, I was not sure. It had a female lead. You know, I, I was scared it's going to be some feminist nonsense. It wasn't. This is just they're just telling a story, and it was good. It was genuinely nice, nice movie, and uh, great, great character. Uh, Furiosa and. Uh, Chris Hemsworth killed his... So Furiosa was played by Anya... What's, what's her name? Anya, wait. Furiosa cost... <laughs> this laptop. Anya Taylor-Joy. Anya Taylor-Joy. She's actually... Furiosa was actually played by multiple characters because... It showed her during, I mean, multiple people. It showed her during different stages of her life. So as a child, and then as like a, as a teen, and then as, a, as just a, a grown woman, I think. I'm not exactly sure the, the, the age, she the, the different ages that they were portraying. But anyway. other uh, there's this movie boy kills the world that movie was violent it wasn't that great of a movie but it was very violent compared to that this was nothing um, nicholas holt what which character did he play in this movie nicholas holt mad mad nicholas Who did he play? Oh, I think he was in the first Mad Max. Well, Mad Max Fury Road. And, um, 
maybe his character from that movie was referenced in, in this movie because I did not see him at all. A few years so. Oh yeah, it was a good movie. Man, the best movie I've seen in a while is Godzilla Minus One. That was a genuinely amazing movie. Like, I think that would hold up in any time period. In any time period that would be really awesome. It's one of those weird things, because, you know, with these monster movies, you want to you wanna see the monsters. You don't care about the humans. Like with Transformers, for example. Whenever they show the humans, I get so fed up. I'm like, please get these silly humans off the screen. We don't care about the humans. We just want... Uh, Gasoline, by the way. We don't want to see the humans. We just want to see the robots. Or we just want to see the monsters, all this sort of stuff. Left. With Godzilla minus one, you genuinely were invested in like the human narrative. Which is, we just were like that. They told such a great story. Such an incredible story. And when Godzilla did show up, it is always epic and cool. Great movie. Great movie. Genuinely. Like a solid, solid movie. I think it would hold up in any generation. It's just a solid, solid, solid storytelling. It gets the fundamentals right. You care about the characters. You care about the main character. You understand his motivations. And... Despite his flaws, you're rooting for him, you know? He's a likable character. And you see his journey, his hero arc. His hero's journey. Uh, and he fulfills it. It's a very good story. Oh my god, very beautiful ending too. <coughs> Emotional, dude. And when Godzilla was on screen, it was always epic. It was always like, what the? Like, they really did a good job of showing how big of a threat Godzilla was to, like, the Japanese people. Like, he was a menace. Oops. By the way, I'm, 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 I don't think I'm going to shave this beard anymore. I'm Like you, you give it a day, you just want a, a day or two to not shave, and it's like, it's like I'm back, bitch. Yeah, what? What the hell? What flavor is this? This is um, Cajun barbecue. It smells good. Cajun barbecue. I am not allowed to go out next week, next Saturday, and probably this Saturday after that, because I spent so much money on this past Saturday. I have a budget. I'm trying to save money this month. This June 23, when I get paid. I want to buy a phone. I want to buy a new phone. I need to save the money that I'm getting, that I've gotten from this past month's ad revenue and stuff, and then combined with next month's ad revenue, so I'll get paid June 23. Should be enough to get my phone, and uh, yeah. but if I spend all the money on going out and getting food and all that sort of stuff, I don't have anything. My mom was telling me you have to learn how to save, otherwise you're going to keep getting into the cycle of getting paid. and running out of money, then you, want to, then you have to start from scratch again, and all this sort of nonsense is ever come up. I need to be disciplined. So next Saturday, I'm, I'm keeping my ass indoors, at home. I'm going anywhere. It would be nice to watch, oof. 
It'd be nice to watch the new Planet of the Apes movie. It'd be nice. I've always been a fan of those movies. I've always liked them. But, gotta save money, man. The most I can do is like, go to the bookstore, get a hot chocolate and write. But that's not too expensive. Even that though, man, I might just sit my ass at home. Stay home, Jesse. Stay home, don't go anywhere. Invite you to like expensive outings, dude. Let's go to this place. Oh my god, I remember I went to this farmer's market with these people. Actually, the ticket is still here. I still have it on my desk. Went to this farmer's market and I spent so much money there. It was ridiculous. And I was like, what am I doing? What am I actually doing? I was like, I can't afford this. I spent so much money and it was like, I had so little left. I was like, this is ridiculous. So I don't want to be in that position anymore, dude. So sometimes you have to tell people, uh-uh, I'm not going out. I'm not going out. I'm just staying inside. Ah, oh, just staying inside. Leave me alone. Resist the devil and he will flee. That's what the Bible says. Resist the devil and he will flee. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I need to get a phone, guys. I'll be so proud of myself. It's nice. It'll be nice to get a new phone because it's an upgrade, and there'll be benefits that come with having a newer phone. You know, better camera. It's, it's like a, it's a quite price. It's a, it's a pricey phone, so it comes with the specs and all that sort of stuff. And I think it will. The camera will improve, so. Things like uh, if I want to like, like uh, zoom in on things, like it'll, it'll do a better job of that and it'll be a better viewing experience for, for some of y'all. And uh, it, it also represents my hard work with maintaining this channel. It'll just be nice to have that as a token of like. I worked for this, I saved, I, I actually practiced discipline, and I saved my money, and I got a phone. Amazing, amazing. So, it represents a bunch of, th bunch of things, and I'm willing, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I haven't ordered food in a long, in a long while. It's been, it's been some time. It's not healthy anyway. Some of this takeout, oh my god. I, when I was at the movies this past Saturday, usually I get snacks. Like, uh, I'll get, like, I'll go to the supermarket. I'll go, I don't like, I don't like buying snacks from the concession stand. They're overpriced and they're boring. I like going to the supermarket to get my snacks. So usually I might get, like, uh, some sweets. Maybe, uh, I like like the, the the dried vegetable chips. They season them. They got different flavors. They got the chutney flavor, paprika flavor, salt and vinegar. But it's like dried dried beetroot and uh, well not dried. It's like chips. It's I guess fried beetroot and sweet potato and, uh, and something else. It might be butternut, I'm not sure what it is. But you can tell that this is not healthy. You just tell my, my stomach always reacts to it. You're like, uh, maybe not the best decision. All this other stuff, I'll get a whole bunch of snacks and, and, uh, and they're quite expensive too. I end up spending a lot of money. This time around, this past Saturday, I just got a wrap. It had like bacon and, uh, and a bunch of other stuff, but this supermarket, it's called Woolworths. I don't know if you have, I think Woolworths is a thing in the UK. You know, Woolworths is, is generally seen as posh. High-end, sort of high-end. They, they're known for 
having quality products. So that wrap wasn't like some greasy, unhealthy thing. It was, you know, high quality ingredients. And uh, when I was eating it, I could feel like, okay, my, my body, you, your body tells you when you're eating nonsense. At least mine does. I can feel when I'm eating something in my body. Like, mm. Come on, bro. <laughs> what are you doing to me? And generally speaking. So, I was eating that and yeah, I, I just felt like I was eating food. I felt satisfied and I didn't feel too guilty afterwards. It's not even about guilt. It's just about like not feeling good. Like, ah, oh, why did I just feed myself? So, yeah. I think that's going to be my, my plan going forward. I'll just pick a wrap. Maybe maybe get some nuts. Like, uh, nuts are expensive at Woolworths. I don't want to get nuts. The nuts cost as much as the wrap, which is ridiculous. It's absurd. So if I want to get, like, uh, cashew nuts, which are my favorite, how much am I going to pay for that? No, sir. No, no, no. So maybe I can get a wrap, a drink, and um, I can get some biltong. Yeah. 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 You can get like small packs of biltong that aren't too expensive. If you don't know what biltong is, it's dried meat. It's like the superior version of American jerky, like beef jerky. Because I, I haven't had American beef jerky, but South Africans that have had American beef jerky always say, even other people who aren't South African who've had American beef jerky and South African biltong always say the biltong is way better. So biltong is just like a better version of beef jerky, or beef jerky is a worse version of biltong. Anyway, if you made it this far, I don't know what you should drop. Drop a what emoji should you drop? I I, I guess a uh, drop a. A sparkle emoji, you know the sparkle emoji. Drop a star. Drop a star emoji for me. Let me get out of here, dear Father God. Thank you for this individual watching around. Right thank you for making them whole, unique, and guiding them in a path towards peace, prosperity, and purpose. Thank you for blessing this person, one of people in their life who love them, take care of them, being the best out of them, and thank you for maintaining the ones that are there to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person with love and marriage and sustaining their love and marriage. Thank you for blessing this person with spirit of gratitude so they can give thanks for all the wonderful things in life and by giving thanks they can find peace, contentment, and attract even more blessings. Let your presence be found in this person. Let them know that your God, that your other child is going to be there for them. Good health, long life, and happiness over this person, everyone that care about you. My name is Ben Jesus. Amen, 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 am